Hello everybody, how's everyone doing? We are doing a project on an artist and I decided to choose Novera Ahmed from Bangladesh, which I was very excited to do. She, let's start out with when she was born. She was born on March 29th, 1939 in Sandar Bonds, Bengal Presidency, British India. She was inspired by her mother's skills in making dollhouses out of clay and became fascinated with working with three-dimensional forms. Next, let's go to 1951 to 1955. She studied sculptures at Camberwell School of Arts and Craft in London, where she was awarded the National Diploma in Design in the Modeling and Sculpture course, which was amazing. In 1966, she met Danish, the artist Asgar Jorn in Paris, and then she studied European sculpture under Venturino Venturi. She worked with Hamidur Rahman, on the original design of the Shahid Menar Dhaka. Next, in 1956 through 1960, she had done about a thousand sculptures, which is amazing. And 33 of those are now in the Bangladesh National Museum. Another accomplishment that she had was in 1960. She, Novera had her first solo exhibition of her 75 exhibits, which was held at the University of Dhaka. In 1970, she started living in France. 1973 was her last exhibition, which was held in Paris and was awarded a couche padak by the government of Bangladesh. Ahmad was known for her unique geometrical forms made by stones and concrete and her mixing of humans and animals. She also used iron, steel, and bronze. She began spray paintings using plane crashes remains from the U.S. Army between 1964 and 1969. After her bad accident, she began using meditative characters such as space, island, birds in the sky, sunshine, and the moon. Unfortunately, in 2010, she suffered a stroke, which put her in a wheelchair, and she passed away in May 2015. But she left a legacy of attracting the government of Bangladesh, which planned to purchase her paintings for $47,000. So she will forever remain remembered. 